Uh, hello, my name is Melissa Myers, um, and I'm a biomedical engineer, and um, I've mentored with magic. I think this is maybe my sixth time. Um, so I this is my first time working with Eastside, and I've had a wonderful, wonderful time working with Betsy. Um, she has built her first website from scratch. And when we met, she had already identified a project to take on that she wanted to use to help educate and empower students at her own school. And that could also be used in the greater community. Um, and I just, it honestly, it was extremely motivating to me. Um, it is still extremely motivating to me to hear her talk about uh, her drive and passion for this. She is very, very self-motivated in terms of um, tackling the project, doing the research, doing the implementation. Um, and she's very creative. So she has lots of good ideas. And if something doesn't work, she's very proactive to try something else. Um, we've also had a lot of fun talking this semester about, um, I don't know, colleges and majors and ideas. So um, I hope you enjoy this presentation from Betsy. Um, hi, my name is my name is Betsavit, but Betsy is my nickname. Uh, my name is Betsy Cacho Lopez, and I am a senior at Eastside College Prep. Next slide, next slide, please. So my mentor is Melissa Myers. Uh, she graduated from Georgia Tech with a Bachelor's of Science in Biomedical Engineering. Uh, she further went on to pursue education at UC Davis, where she received her Master's of Science in Biomedical Eng Engineering. Currently, she works doing software tests in quality and systems engineering. Uh, she also teaches a programming applications in biomedical engineering course at San Jose State University, where students get introduced to Python, Python and do analysis on large, larger data sets. Um, and besides her career and everything she does, she has a two-year-old daughter, as you guys can see in the picture, and she enjoys hiking and swimming during her free time. Next slide, please. So for my project, I made a sexual education website called Know Now. I made this website with the intent of providing credible information for the youth in my community in regards to like se sex sexual education. Um, furthermore, many households never really discuss like sex ed and including mine, like my parents never really talked about it growing up. So this is something that I really like, I'm really motivated to just like get knowledge out there on. Um, and for this website, I mainly used Code Academy and W3 schools. Uh, I use the tutorials that, the hands-on like learning tutorials. So the code alongs for this website. So I learned a bit of HTML, CSS. And in my website, I actually embedded a Google map you guys will see later on. Uh, so I learned that as well. And something interesting that I learned and I didn't really think would be interesting, but was learning how to get a website on the top of the search engine as a result. And something really interesting that I learned was that like the way you name your images matters and it can boost your uh, website. Um, next slide, please. So as for my magical experience, there were many highlights from this experience, uh, but I'll talk about two. The first one being the advantage I took of the web. Prior to magic, I wasn't really aware of like all the online resources that I could access for like helping me with coding and everything. But for my specific project, I took advantage of Code Academy and their tutorials, and it really just like helped me learn HTML. So that's something that it helped, I, sorry, something that magic helped me with. Another thing was that I got to learn about my mentor, like beyond the project. And we would talk a lot um, during our weekly meetings and just check in. And I learned a lot of valuable lessons from her. Uh, one of them was the college experience and how you're not really stuck to the major you apply to because I don't know, but I was always so scared that like the major I chose on my college applications is going to be the major that like I have to stick with for the last next four years. But she was talking to me about how like her friends, like she knows people who switched from like humanities to like STEM majors. So 
that really helped me a lot with my college experience. Um, and then for lessons learned, um, I learned that I shouldn't really be ashamed of asking for help. Um, I know that people are constantly told to ask for help, but it is really challenging for someone to admit that they need help sometimes. So this project helped me get a little bit out of my comfort zone and like just be open, be open to like ask Melissa questions on like the HTML and like parts where I got stuck. Um, and another thing that I learned was that there is like, there's no one way of solving a problem. Like there's always multiple ways you can solve something. So I remember I was struggling with putting an image next to like text in HTML, like two different divs, but I tried like editing the CSS a little bit, but then like Melissa suggested using, uh, she said an old fashioned way. So uh, using a table to put the two things together. And I didn't really think about that before, but it was successful. And I don't know, it just made me realize that like you can use a lot of creativity within your website and like you can use that to your advantage and help you solve problems. Um, and then lastly, there were some challenges within the HTML. So like roadblocks, I remember one of them was like, I have three little avatars on the bottom of my website. You guys will see in a little bit, but I don't know, like they used to get bumped down because of the HTML or like the different size of like the screen. So um, that was one of the roadblocks. And then another one was the nav bar. It was, I think Melissa and I spent like a really long time like trying to work on the nav bar, um, like a drop down nav bar where you can like search videos. Um, but yeah, at the end, like I kept consistently asking for help and we were able to get through it. Um, next slide, please. So this is the vision that I presented during my midpoint check. Um, this is kind of what I wanted my website to look like. So the name of the website on the top and then, um, yeah, so I would have, I had three, three pages on here. So I, I was only able to do the home page and the about page, but something that I wanna do, I have like further work I wanna work on. Um, next slide, please. So this is my website now. now. Um, I, this is a home page. So I have my uh, name of the website up here and then it's followed by like a mission statement or like something that the website is known for, which is safe space to learn about your rights. Um, and then down here, I have a map, which basically gives people access to like healthcare clinics next uh, near them. So like, for example, this is my area. So if I can, if I zoom in more, like I can see health clinics near my house. But if someone lives a little further away, they can just click on the view larger map. And then it will redirect them to another page, the Google page. And then, ah, oh, sorry, students or just people can zoom out and like, let's say they live in another part of the state. So maybe like um, Fresno and they're trying to find health clinics near Fresno. They can just simply click here, zoom in. And then like places near them start popping up. So like, oh, this health clinic or like, oh, this other health clinic. So this is, uh, one of the main features of the website, which allows people to like find health clinics near them. Back to the main homepage, there's this section here that basically has like different stories of people. So that's something I'll add in the future, but it would have like testaments of people and their stories on like accessing um, knowledge. And then another thing that my website has is an about page. This is the about page and basically it has a picture saying like passion letters here because that's like the main mission. The main goal of my website is just to let people know that like someone behind this website made it out of passion. So I have um, a little about section here which says this website was created with the intent of providing free and accessible reproductive health services to the youth our website is safe and reliable. All of the information on this website comes from credible sources. 
Um, and yeah, that's just mainly the about page. And then I have this uh, drop drop tab on the nav bar, which links people to videos. So I have um, like safe sex, STI versus STD, STD prevention, and sexual abuse. And all these videos redirect users to uh, YouTube videos, which they can see. Um, divers in April this season. And yeah, so I haven't been able to finish contact or the Espanol, but this is what I've done so far with my project. Yeah, and so for future work on this project, I really want to continue working on this project. Um, so I had two tabs that I wasn't able to do uh, that I had in my initial vision statement and I feel like are a key part of this website. So. One of them is the contact tab where I hope that like there can be like a uh, frequently asked questions and like the website can suggest like frequently asked questions and then like they can give answers. And then on the main page, I had a lot of avatars at the bottom, but I really want like to get stories of people who who have been helped through like sex ed um, and just like, I guess create like this warmly vibe from the website and like really let the people who are using it know that like it's okay to be using that website and know that like it'll be helping them. Um, and then, yeah, I just wanna add a little bit more information on the homepage. So maybe more resources, uh, maybe like redirecting them to other pages as well. Um, next slide, please. Uh, yeah, that is it. Thank you. Any questions? Wonderful job, Betsy. Thank you so much. Um, and, you know, both of you chose um, projects that will help educate the community and guide them towards resources that they or someone they know may need. Um, and I think it says a lot to the education that the two of you are receiving at Eastside that you both um, you know, that clearly um, Eastside is teaching their students to be community minded. Um, and so with with all that being said, um, what is some advice you might have for, um, you know, a way for those who may be afraid to ask for help? You know, you said that that was something that you learned, um, you know, what's what is some advice that you have for someone who may be afraid to ask for help from somebody um i would tell them to like start off with google i know google isn't really there's like a lot of misinformation on google but through like uh doing really good searches so like even if you hear like um like, i know planned parenthood has a really amazing website so mm -hmm. um yeah, I would tell them to like start off with Google or if not like with someone trustworthy, like someone that they like really trust and someone that they know cares for them as well. Um, yeah, I would tell them to first seek help through them. One That's wonderful advice for people of all ages. So thank you for that. Does anyone else have any other questions for Betsy? I have a comment. I mean, this is a... That was a phenomenal presentation. You presented it well. The topic is so important, uh, especially for girls. So I'm very thankful. I'm grateful that you picked this topic and that you worked with Nawasa on it. Uh, I, the, um, the same question that I asked Ari about her website, have you shared it with people and have they used it and given feedback? Um, I have not shared it with anyone at the moment, but I, like, I actually really want this website to happen. So I hope in the future I'll be able to like make this website happen and like leave it as a little resource for like my community before I like head off to college and everything. Amazing job. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. I have a comment question as well. Um, Betsy, thank you. This was amazing. And I appreciate so much how you approached this. It's a really important topic. And it was so clear that you were very mindful and um, the perspective you had in building this. Um, so I wonder for, you mentioned you're going off to college and I was wondering how this experience and the things you learned while doing the website development, um, talking to Melissa about college, 
all of those things, how has this whole experience changed maybe your mindset going to that next chapter of your life? This, yeah, magic, the magical experience has really helped me like get excited for college. I, I was excited before, but I was like really stressed out with school, but like taking the time out of my week to meet with Melissa and like work on this project has really helped me get excited for STEM and like it's made me 100% sure that I do want to do STEM and pursue a career in STEM. Um, yeah, and just talking to Melissa about like the differences between like the engineering and like uh, the bio different biology majors has really helped me. Um, yeah. Thank you. And and by the way, I totally think this could be a resource used in the college as well. Mm -hmm. um, so you should take it with you. Yeah.